Yo, what's up, man? It's your boy Derek Branch of uh, Strike7Sports.com. Today's episode of the uh, Strike7Sports podcast. We're going to talk about how boxing has pretty much taken a huge step back, in my opinion, on not having, on the ability to have the bigger fights that we want to see. Um, allegiances to the uh, particular networks, the apps, the plat- whatever platforms you want to call it. Has caused a, has caused a um, huge uh, shift in boxing, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna share some content based around that topic. Share articles, some quotes from uh, some uh, big name uh, from a big name promoter, and I'm gonna just kind of punch those that notion, that narrative they put out at the time with the sport of boxing. But um, you know, back you know another podcast episode has been a another busy week in sports, crazy hectic week with, you know, the the, the I would say the two biggest leagues in the uh, United States and America globally as well. That's the NFL, the National Football League, you know, the NBA wrapped up his uh rec- recently just wrapped up his uh season in July and now they went into a their uh, free agency mode and along with NFL training camp starting up as well so you just got a lot of news coming out left and right you know um, this is because of the uh COVID-19 pandemic which is still going on right now and pretty much is deadly and more deadly than ever before with you know the variants and all this other stuff going on but because of that you know the leagues you know decided to start up the NBA in particular started, decided to start up a little faster and it ended Longer it ended a little later than what it should usually ends, which is around the beginning of June, around the middle of June, and they go to start free to see like around after July, fourth, the fourth of July. But that didn't happen this time because you know the, the season was kind of altered, kind of rushed, you know, and now things are you know the news is running, all these stories are running together, you know, you got. Things going on in NFL training camp. You got guys in the NBA who are signing with new teams. Free agency going on all at the same time. And it just, you know, it's kind of, you know, the new normal right now. For right now. You know, until things could get under control. And I don't, I don't know if things are going to, the NBA is going to get concerned and speed things up again. Or they're going to go back to the way it was when you start up the season around. I think it's, uh, the season starts in October, if I'm not mistaken. It usually starts in October. But anyways, man, uh, let's get started. You know, I want to talk about the uh, sports of bo- the sport of boxing. And the issues that I'm just observing right now, man. We've had three big fights pretty much get axed in the past couple of months. We had... Wilder Fury three got that that one got next because of you know you believe it or not you know this is up to you but they got in the, uh, next because of Tyson Fury and his team some of the members of his team testing positive for COVID nineteen um the other fight and today we just got word that uh the uh, Errol Spence Jr. Manny Pacquiao bike. Bank, main Pacquiao bike bout that was scheduled to have, happen in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. Well, it's gonna happen, but it won't feature Errol Spence and Manny Pacquiao. Eudenis Ogas it will be stepping in for Errol Spence and will be facing Pacquiao on August 21st. And the fight is still going to be considered a pay per view event. Errol Spence is, I think he has to get eye, eye surgery tomorrow because of damage in his eye. Um, tomorrow, so that's that. So another fight off the table, and this is where I'm just gonna kind of focus that on this fight. This where the if the, the issues are coming in at to me. Um, the Caleb it was projected to have a uh, Caleb Plant versus Canelo Alvarez fight for the mid, middle uh, unification bout for the uh, middleweight titles at the one uh, I think it's 168 pound super middleweight division. Um, Caleb Plant had the only uh, belt lab that Canelo was missing. And, you know, he was adamant about having that fight with Caleb Plant. 
you know, negotiations uh, kicked off. Everything was running well, going smoothly, until the contracts were sent across um, each uh, each uh, fighter's uh, promoter's desk. And you know, I'm not gonna get into, uh, get into all the details of what happened, but uh, the fight is not happening. You can go look it up for yourself or why those fights are not happening. You know, um, everything was green, pretty much a green light until the other mess, you know, popped up with the A side crap and there's all there's all these different things, but. Yes, you know, Canelo Alvarez is a free agent. However, Eddie Hearn is the promoter that he works that he works with. And there's a deal, we you know, there's, there's there was this deal where I think it was three fights or two fight deal where Canelo was fighting with Eddie Hearn on the zone with their agreement, not Golden Boys. So they kept him on the zone. Uh, plant is the PVC fighter, which falls under Al Heyman's, yeah, PVC slash Showtime, you know, um, stable. So that's Canelo's for agent, tip pretty much, but Plant is on a different network. So this is based on my observation of how these things go with the, um, the fighters being on a different networks. It's pretty much a lot of pulling teeth to have these fights, to have the you know fighters from different stables, uh, from different promotions, different networks come together and have these fights. It's just not happening. And it's I got an article I'm going to read and that talks about what happened, what what caused that, and why is it like that now. But I'm going to kind of push back on that. On that um that narrative and pretty much I, I feel that there's a need and people may out there may not agree with this probably gonna get put up pretty upset with this as you see in um, boxing and the boxing uh, niche the boxing uh, content creation world YouTube Twitter wherever you want to Facebook you know it's just that I just feel that Boxing needs to go back to HBO and work with them exclusively, for real. Because you didn't have when we would. I know that it was you know it wasn't perfect at the time. It still ain't perfect, but you didn't have these uh, promoters not willing to make deals. You never had that. You didn't have all the stuff going on. I know that was the, the the whole drop the uh, long wait for uh, Mayweather and uh, Pacquiao to have the fight, but they had the fight. They eventually came together to have the fight. But now these promoters aren't working with anyone. Don't want to work with any other network. You know, it, 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 you know. Um, the, so far, throughout this whole ordeal, not ordeal, but this whole during this era, that I think. In my opinion, pretty much started around 2018. During this era right now, the fighters being and working with the, being a part of different networks, the only fight they were really major fight they really had, where both networks came together was Wilder Fury three. Well, not my bad, the Tyson Fury um, Deontay Wilder uh, feud. Everything else has just been um, it just hasn't happened. Oh, and also. Also, um, you had Andy Ruiz cross the street to go to uh, the zone to fight uh, Anthony Joshua. But that was a um, contract. You know, that was in the contract. So they pretty much couldn't fight that one. But, you know, Al Heyman, you know, played some hardball just to get make sure Andy Ruiz was uh, taken care of financially. But this ain't, this ain't knocking Al Heyman or anything like that. I think he's, um, maybe he looks out for the fighters. And I, 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 um, I applaud that, but something has to give, man. I know. I mean, these is, these fights are just not happening no more, you know. And 
for the folks that say, well, you know, I hear fighters all the time say, you know, like certain fighters, different stables, or mostly from the PBC, um, talk about how they don't want to fight on the app, and you know, they make fun of they, they talk about the zone and all that, and I'm just like, well, typically, 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 you you're fighting on the app as well. You are fighting on the app because. I have Showtime, but it's not under my cable subscription. I have the uh, Showtime uh, app, and I have watched all of your fights, all of the PBC fights on Showtime from that app. I have all the two pay-per-views from the PBC, from Showtime PBC, from the app, and I've watched them strictly on the app. So you're fighting on the app as well. Also, when there's... um. The fight, the pay-per-views on uh, Fox, those are going to be streamed on the app as well. So basically, you're fighting on the app as well on uh, PVC. ESPN Plus 2. So you, it's, it's, it's no, well, I don't want to be on the app and all that. You're all on the app. That's just the way of the world right now. And there's and the crazy thing is that there's more money to be made with these fights than ever before. But it's not happening. You got all these resources. You got Fox. You got the 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 debate shows. Uh, Skip and Shannon undefeated. You got the herd. You got this show. You got um, Nick Wright's show. First thing first. You got First Take. You got um, First Take. It was the other one. Well, yeah, pretty much First Take. ESPN. You got the boxing. You know, content. All that. And these things are still not getting happened. These fighters are not promoted properly for whatever reason. And um, it just is unfortunate, man. Because back in the day, HBO will work with anyone. It's, you know, it wasn't based on what side of the track you were on. It wasn't based on what promoter you work you work with, and you hear so much, so many lies that go on with the sport between the promoters of what is happening. You know, um, Eddie Hearn. Well, we send this con we send this fighter a contract, and the fighter say, "Well, I didn't get a contract." We you send this, he's showing the text messages to the, the YouTuber and all this other stuff. It just a lot going on, man. It just well, Eddie Hearn, man. It just Unless it's a big time, the only big name fight, unless it's that, that, that Andy, the, the, and other than the uh, Andy Ruiz and the Joshua match, he has not, he has failed to show that he can work with another promoter. Unless it's Bob Bear. Unless it's Bob Bear. They, well, they will, no matter how much crap uh, Bob Bear talks about Eddie Hearn. They are willing to make fights. Not big fights, but they make fights. You know? And he did in other than and he has not shown that he can make big fights with the PVC. And the PVC doesn't want to make fights with him. You know? So I wonder I wonder what do these uh executives that are behind the scenes at these uh networks think about this you know you have a box stable on fox and you got a box stable on uh, espn are they not looking at this stuff and not, or is or is it just hey we just have we got boxes so here you know what i'm saying just happy to just hey but just be happy to have you have the platform so you got the sport on your networks that's a, that's what it is you know are you are you trying to make money with this with these um these staples you know but anyways I'm gonna take a quick break and go into the uh, article talking about without some elaborate more on the top on the topic that I'm talking about All right, so I'm back, and what I have in front of me right now is a uh, 
article from the New York Times on why the title of it is why why HBO is stunningly leaving boxing behind, written by George Willis. It was written on September 27, 2018, which was the last time HBO had boxing. So I'm going to read it. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but let's go through some quotes and stuff like that. You can see it on their faces. Last week in Las Vegas, the longtime employees who have been around during HBO's heydays of big fights were wearing long faces despite the impending rematch between Gennady Golovkin and Saul Canelo Alvarez. It very well could have been the final pay-per-view boxing event ever at HBO, which announced Thursday will no longer broadcast live boxing after 2018, ending a 45-year run. It doesn't mean we have shut down, shut the door entirely in terms of large-scale events that transcend the sport. Peter Nelson, the executive vice president of HBO Sports, told the Post. But it means that, in, but it does mean in terms of granular, granular, granular day-to-day -day niche boxing business that we believe is the right move to pivot. HBO's boxing demise was a slow death caused partly by its own doing and partly because of a change in the boxing business, was a premium network for some of the biggest fights in boxing history. HBO's dominance of sports, biggest events, and biggest stars faded in the recent years because of budget cuts, a decline in ratings, and promoters and fighters signing exclusive deals with other platforms. Top Rank, which at one time did major business with HBO, signed an exclusive deal with ESPN and streaming service ESPN+. UK-based Matchroom Box, Match Room Boxing, which is making its presence known in the U.S. in the U.S., inked the deal with worth one billion with the Zone, another live streaming service. Meanwhile, pre another live stream service, the Zone. Meanwhile, Premier Boxing Champions, the PBC, which manages many of the top American boxers, is aligned with Showtime and Fox Sports. Top ranked CEO Arab says before the Golovkin Alvarez rematch that HBO and Robert Showtime weren't long for boxing. The pay per view bout was the final in the HBO contract for both fighters, and there was no talk of renewing each either fighter's deal. Quote HBO doesn't belong in boxing. Sorry, drop that. Quote HBO doesn't belong in boxing. Showtime doesn't belong in boxing, Arab said. They're entertainment networks, and I think they're beginning to realize that you don't spend money on entertainment on an entertainment event that opens and closes the same night. The competition is one competitor, and that's Netflix, not Smug Boxing. Quote. All right, so we got a comment point to that. Aren't they all? He said that Aram says that they're entertainment networks. But are they all entertainment networks? ESPN's entertainment network. Fox's entertainment network. It's all entertainment. Bob Arum. You know? And Bob Arum, man, has been the most, these past few months, I would say past two years, Bob Arum is very cheap. To say that you have, to say you're in an exclusive deal with the worldwide leader, the full letter network and you're not trying and you can't attempt to get the biggest fights is bad it's a bad look for you it's a bad look for him Bob Arum is very cheap he got fighters over there that he's not pr pr pushing to the front for the forefront I said it before of trying I made a video on this a while back titled trying to understand Bob Arum's frugal mentality this dude is very cheap, and he's holding. And, and I think the much as much good as he's as he's done, he's not he's not doing anything for the, for the sport of boxing right now, man. He's got he's got unlimited resources with that network, with ESPN, and you still can't get the biggest fights. We still can't get them, even on his even in, even even within his, within his own own stable, you can't get the big fights. You know? But anyways, let me scroll down some more. The advent of live streaming apps on ESPN and like ESPN Plus 
and the zone pronounced uh, coincide well in the zone because it coincides with an explosion of original programming on other outlets to attract subscribers it's not about box anymore as it is about billions not the money but the television show they make their money on entertainment on sopranos sex in the city on billions aram said that's their business it's a stupid business for them to put money into boxing where the fight opens and closes the same night but that's how that, boss that's how it works bob it's, it's the same with the nsl if you put if you, if you put that money into a series that the series hits then you can syndicate it for billions of dollars five years from now everything will be streaming entertainment sports everything will be streaming so I, don't, I just don't understand what Bob Aaron was saying, man, because he's streaming now. It's all entertainment. It never was. It always been entertainment. HBO never fully recovered after legends like George Foreman, Sugar Ray Leonard, Mike Tyson, Van Ho Vander Holyfield, and Ashley Della Hall, you retired. And then new HBO leadership openly feuded with, uh, openly feuded with and a alienated Aram, Bob Aram, and Al Heyman, the creator of the PBC. Showtime with its alliance to Floyd Mayweather and the PBC surpassed HBO as boxing pre boxing's premium network outlet, making Thursday decision inevitable. We've seen uh, we've seen audience research there indicates boxing is no longer a determining factor for our subscribers. Nelson said, "A lack of star power and compelling bouts contributed contributed to that. HBO HBO's final boxing broadcast will be on will come on October 27, which was." Brooklyn heavyweight Dane Jacobs fighting Sergey Derevyanchenko for the IBF. Yeah, right. So they say that Nelson stated that um, the, the network of uh, viewer research showed that Boston is longer a factor, determining factor for our subscribers. At the time, that may have been true. However. The way I'm looking at it now, you got more stars than ever in boxing. A bunch of stars that just, a lot of guys with the potential that just ain't marketed right. And, you know, I think, and what I'm seeing in the boat networks is that they just, don't, they just don't have the personnel, the right personnel to promote boxing, to promote fighters on these networks. And HBO could have. I think if HBO with the, the rise of social media, YouTube, you got uh, TikTok, Instagram, HBO could have did something with today's fighters, man. They would have kept them around a little longer, another year. I think things would have been better, would have gotten better. Would've, they would have cleared things up with Al Heyman, Bob Barrow. Excuse me. <laughs> Clear things up with Al Hammond and Bob Aaron. Then I think we don't have the issues we have right now. But now it looks like things, the bridges are burned and there's no site for repair, you know. But I wish there was a way that HBO could get back involved in Boston. Get back involved in Boston, man. Um, deal with, I know it. The PBC, it won't happen with the PBC because him and his, his works works with uh, Showtime. I don't know what's going to happen with the Fox deal. Maybe they, re they, they re-sign. Maybe they don't. I don't know. It's up in the air. I'm hearing a bunch of other things. You know, a couple rumors came out by some, uh, you know, highly known, uh, I would say, <laughs> YouTubers that claim to have the sources. But we'll see. You know, but... I wish some kind of way HBO could get back involved, get back involved with boxing. You know, because um, I, I think with these networks, things are not happening as they should. They have more resources and all that, but they can have the same, HBO can have the same resources as well. These networks are not working with each other to have the biggest fights in the sports of boxing, in the sport of boxing right now. They're just not, you know, um, and I knew it was going to be hardball. Al Heyman was going to play hardball with Canelo Alvarez. With Canelo Alvarez. I knew it. That fight just wasn't going to happen without any hiccups. They got, they were close, but it didn't happen. And it, it sucks. 
You know, we would miss, you know, we, it's like 2020 all over again for boxing. You know, we've missed um, three big fights back to back. The the Wilder fight because of COVID. Spence injury. Now he's out of this fight with Pacquiao. Plan fight gets Knicks gets Knicks because of what I'm talking about in his on today's podcast. The the networks don't want to work with each other. You know, there's a lot of egos and there's too much things involved right now in boxing man and boxing should be boxing should be at its height right now with the technology the improvements the stars social media twitter everything all these other different promotional tools they can use but they choose not to you know but anyways man that's all i have for y'all for tonight man that's all just give me on you listen to, listen to, you listen to this through uh Spotify, Anchor, Apple, or whatever. Just give me a five-star rating. Leave comments below. Let me know how you feel. Same as if you was on uh, YouTube. Give me a like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Let me know how you feel about this. Do you think HBO should give, get involved in boxing once again? Do you miss HBO being involved in boxing? Also, in the description box below, if you're on YouTube or wherever, check out Strike7sports.com for his content on the NFL, the NBA, and much more. We're going to be bringing back uh, boxing uh, content slowly as things get on, um, as I get, you know, my schedule down pat. And we're going to just continue to um, promote the sport, put out content on the sport, put out our perspective on the sport as well. Have a blessed day. Peace. I'm out.